In English cuisine, Battaglia pie, obsolete spelling Battaglia pie is a large game pie, or occasionally a fish pie, filled with many small, blessed pieces, beetles, of offal, in a gravy made from meat stock flavored with spices and lemon. The dish was described in cookery books of the 17th and 18th centuries. Confusion with words for battle led to the pie being crenellated, or shaped to resemble a castle with towers. Etymology A battalia pie was so named because it was filled with beetles, small blessed objects from Latin beatus, blessed such as, according to the Oxford English Dictionary, "...cocks combs, goose gibbets, gizzards, livers, and other appurtenances of fowls it is not connected with Italian battaglia, battle, but it was regularly confused with that meaning, and battaglia pies were built with crenellated battlements around the edges, and sometimes as castles complete with towers. Recipe <inaudible> 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 The 1658 cookery book The Complete Cook by W. M. gives an early recipe for battaglia pie. Take four tame pigeons and truce them to bake, and take four ox pallets well boiled and blanched, and cut it in little pieces, take six lamb stones, and as many good sweet breads of veal cut in halves and parboiled, and twenty coxcombs boiled add blanched, and the bottoms of four hartichokes, and a pint of oysters parboiled and bearded, and the marrow of three bones, so season all with mace, nutmeg and salt, so put your meat in a coffin of fine paste proportionable to your quantity of meat, put half a pound of butter upon your meat, put a little water in the pie, before before it be set in the oven, let it stand in the oven an oar and a half, then take it out, pour out the butter at the top of the pie, and put it in lear of gravy, butter, and lemons, and serve it up. In his 1660 cookery book The Accomplished Cook, Robert May gives a recipe, to make a bisque or battalia pie, which instructs, Take six peeping pigeons, and as many peeping small chickens, truss them to bake, then have six ox pallets well boiled and blanched, and cut in little pieces, then take six lamb stones, and as many good veal sweet breads cut in halves and parboiled, twenty cocks combs boiled and blanched, the bottoms of four artichokes boiled and blanched, a quart of great oysters parboiled and bearded, also the marrow of four bones seasoned with pepper, nutmeg, mace, and salt, fill the pie with the meat, and mingle some pistaches amongst it, cock stones, knots, or yolks of hard eggs, and some butter, close it up and bake it an hour and half will bake it but before you set it in the oven, put into it a little fair water, being baked pour out the butter, and liquor it with gravy, butter beaten up thick, slitch it lemon, and serve it up. Or you may bake this bisque in a patty pan or dish. Sometimes use asparagus and interlarded bacon. For the paste of this dish, take three quarts of flour, and three quarters of a pound of butter, boil the butter in fair water, and make up the paste hot and quick. Other ways in the summer time, make the paste of cold butter, to three quarts of flour take a pound and a half of butter, and work it dry into the flour, with the yolks of four eggs and one white, then put a little water to it, and make it up into a stiff paste. John Knott's 1723 The Cooks and Confectioners Dictionary gives a recipe for battaglia pie with fish. Make a very large pie, and cut with battlements, garnish the coffin with as many towers as will contain your several sorts of fish, dry your coffin well, and wash it over on the inside with yolks of eggs, and flour it in the bottom, then having either broiled or freed your fish brown, place the head of a salmon, cut pretty large beyond the gills, in the middle of your pie, forked, and backed in an oven, set the heads of your other fish upon forced meat, and place your several sorts of fish one opposite to the other in their several partitions, and pour all over your fish, cockles, prawns, oysters, and periwinkles boiled up in their proper layers, and thickened with drawn butter. Remember to lay your forced heads over the battlements. In her 1727 cookery book The Complete Housewife, Eliza Smith describes battalia pie as follows. Take four small chickens, four squab pigeons, four sucking rabbits, cut them in pieces, season them with savory spice, and lay them in the pie, with four sweetbreads sliced, and as many sheep's tongues, two shivered pallets, two pair of lamb stones, twenty or thirty coxcombs, with savory balls and oysters. Lay on butter, and close the pie. A leer. Smith's recipe was republished in Michael Willis's 1831 Cookery Made Easy, and in Anne Walbank Buckland's 1893 book, Our Viands, Whence They Come and How They Are Cooked. Topic. 
In literature The politician and author Benjamin Disraeli describes an English dinner of the previous century in his 1837 novel Venetia, with that masterpiece of the culinary art, a great battalia pie, in which the bodies of chickens, pigeons, and rabbits, were embalmed in spices, coxcombs, and savory balls, and well bedewed with one of those rich sauces of claret, anchovy, and sweet herbs. On the cover of this pastry, the curious cook had contrived to represent all the once living forms that were now entombed in that gorgeous sepulchre. Recreations Battalia pies were recreated at Naworth Castle in 2006 and at Westport House, Ireland in 2015. Notes <laughs>